Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on guys? It's OJC here. Welcome to today's video. This is going to be a huge video. So we're jumping in to the Hero Mastery. So let's just jump right into this because we have a lot to cover. So first we have uh, uh, Prevail the White saying there are five uh, general masteries. You'll need to collect the scroll scraps to the corresponding ancient scrolls to be used to upgrade these. So let's see what they mean by that. Uh, what that means by that is we'll select um, a, a hero and now let's just select the um, hero mastery. That's going to be located on the left hand side of the screen. Let's see if I can pull that up. It's going to be right over here. You'll need to be cast level 40 in order to do this. So once we are in here, uh, we can find out exactly how many of the uh, scraps they're going to be in the top right hand corner. So a few things to notice. This is the mechanics behind this is going to be very, very similar to Dragonic for your dragon, except this is going to affect your heroes. Also, take your time when you do this. You don't want to mess up because there is a reset. But with this reset, there is a 20 day cooldown. So be very careful the first time that you go in. Make sure you guys spend some time with this. Um, now, there are five different things. Uh, you have Arcane, Rage, Protective, Divine, and Command. So which ones to focus on first? I think the big thing to, to look at is your hero research. And a lot of this is from the conversation uh, I had with Tane after um, the live stream. So uh, with talking with, with him, it seems like right now, which this came out like five minutes ago, like literally five minutes ago, it, we're thinking that Rage and Command can be good. However, if you have really high Mage and Necromancer research, then Arcane might be better for you. So to select one, all you need to do is click on the screen. So if we want the Rage, we'll click right on down here and it will open up the Rage and we can see exactly what this looks like. So as far as how this looks, this looks just like um, Dragonic. So what we'll do is, because this is going to be the first one that I'm going to focus on, we'll, we'll take a look at these smaller ones. So these smaller ones, uh, or like tier one, tier three, so tier one, tier three, tier five, uh, or seven, these are going to affect all of your heroes. So for example, we have might training, which increases the might of all heroes by plus one. We have another one that increases the uh, attack of all heroes by 1%, another one that increases the accuracy. And then we have these special ones. So this is going to look like your tier two, uh, your tier four, etc. Now these ones, you'll be able to select a hero. When you select a hero, the hero is going to get whatever buff is in there. So for example, the tier two under the rage is going to offer uh, weapon enhancement, which uh, physical damage and attack speed is going to be increased. You can only select one hero uh, per each of these tiers. Now for the Rage specific, say I, I want to focus on Nora. I can't select Nora for each one of these major milestone things. I can only pick Nora for one of them. However, what I can do is I can pick Nora for Rage. I can also pick Nora for one of the heroes for uh, one of the other ones. We can also pick Nora for one of the tier twos for Command. Uh, the only thing you can't do is you can't have one hero get multiple Rage ones. So we'll walk through this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to buy some, some of these uh, points right now. Um, we're going to go with uh, Rage Scrolls and we're going to unlock uh, a few of these. So now we're going to come on in and we're going to increase the, the might because I, I think that doing the might is uh, probably pretty huge. I mean, that's plus one uh, might to all heroes. Uh, so now that's at max level. So we're going to need to get five more. This is just like Dragonic. Um, so we're going to hop over here and get five more. So one, two, three, four, five. And we can see the, the cost increase going up. It's very, very similar to Dragonic. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to increase the attack of all of our heroes. And now we can see we can finally unlock uh, the weapon enhancement one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break and check this out. So what we're going to do is we are going to get five more of the Rage Scrolls. They cost 200 each at this point in time, which is rather expensive. Now it jumps up to 400. So this is going to get really, really expensive fast. 
So now that we have um, five more, we can actually come in and we can level up the weapon enhancement. And Peril the Weight popped up and he said, you unlock the special mastery. Special masteries are super strong, but only uh, the selected hero can get the power. So we're going to select a hero and for this one, we're going to go with Nora. So Nora is going to get that benefit. And then we move uh, along. Um, so do we still have more? We don't, so it actually takes five full uh, of the rage tickets or whatever to unlock that, that one. So the specialty tiers, the special masteries, those are going to cost five straight up for that one point. However, now our Nora has uh, physical damage and attack speed increased by 17.5%. That's huge. So at the beginning, I showed us that the reset is actually going to take us 20 days to reset. However, what you can do is you can come in and you can swap out the hero whenever you want. So if we want to give this to our Elena just to, to troll people, we can do that. Or we can move it back to the Nora. So as far as the special masteries, such as the, the one that we have Nora on right now, that Nora can only have one special mastery per hero research tree or hero mastery tree, whatever you want to call it. Each hero can only get one from each tree. There's five different trees. So what we could do is we could also take Nora and uh, we could go under the command tree. And if we had enough points, we could also put Nora here as well. So this is going to add in some really interesting uh, dynamics as far as the game goes. As far as uh, tips and advice for, for this, I would take your time, read them all over. Uh, I think right now, for me personally, I'm going to focus on Rage. Uh, it's going to take a long time, uh, as somebody that does not spend much now, uh, to actually l level it up. So don't get, get discouraged. The people that are going to spend, they're, they're going to spend it. They are going to get ahead. There's no way around that. However, don't get discouraged. Take your time, read through everything, and kind of figure out how this benefits your account. Depending on how your hero research is set up and what your play style is, that's going to kind of dictate which tree you go under. Remember, you can reset this, so reset it if you need to. I would hold off on doing anything until you have kind of a game plan on what, what you want to do. Now, we do have some other bu buttons. So we do have overview here in the bottom, and we can kind of see, just like with the uh, Dragonic tree, and you can get that snapshot, we can also get a snapshot. So right now, as far as the special masteries, all that we have is uh, the tier two under Rage, that specialty mastery, and that's on Nora. So this is a really good place to come and get a quick overview of everything before fights. Also, if we hit the question mark, we can get uh, some more information. So there's five general masteries. Uh, that looks like your arcane, your rage, your protective, your divining command. You'll need the corresponding scrolls to upgrade them. You can combine ancient scroll maps to get the scrolls. So what they're talking about is they're talking about the maps up here uh, to get the uh, different types of scrolls. All that you need to do is get the scraps. For number two, commanders need to uh, select a hero to get the bonuses of the special masteries. We went through that. That's adding Nora um, onto the second tier. So as far as the number two with these special masteries, that's all going to come down to uh, wh whatever that hero is there. Uh, you can select it, you can deselect it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty amazing overall. For number three, heroes can only be selected once in each general mastery and twice throughout all general mastery. So the hero can only be out there in two general masteries uh, overall so what that means is you can't have one hero be in all five you can have one hero be in up to two for number four resetting hero masteries will return scroll scraps to you this is actually really good to know because say we go all in into rage that's the only one we focus on and a month from now we realize we really want to do the arcane what we can do is we're not stuck with just those ancient scrolls or the, the specialty scrolls for the rage. When we do reset, instead of getting back um, just the specific scrolls, such as rage scrolls or the arcane scrolls, you'll get back the pieces. That way you can buy whatever scrolls you want in the future. That's actually really nice. And number five. Uh, heroes copied by Mirror of Reality will not get the special bonuses. So that's uh, pretty huge because 
some of these specialty masteries are absolutely insane. So uh, what I need you guys to do is let me know in the comment section is what you're going to focus on. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see what, what you guys pick and uh, I look forward to reading through. If you guys find something out there that you think is going to be super overpowered or super broken, please let me know. Uh, we, it, it's all very new right now so we don't really have the best understanding. Also, we just broke 6 million core power. So congratulations, OGC Gaming Channel. We hit 6 million core power off of this. I'm so happy. I never thought that I would be this high. Uh, so let's go 6 million core power OGC. What's up? That is amazing. So with that, guys, um, please take a moment. Consider going down into the description of this video and all videos, checking out the cool links. We have the Patreon page. Huge thank you to the Patreons out there. You guys are the true MVPs. We have the merch store where you can get some really cool swagger. We have the Facebook page if you need better notifications. And, of course, uh, we have the Discord. Go check that out. So until tomorrow, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and thank you for tuning in.